What's up everybody? Welcome to Best Massage Tech, where today I'm taking a look at the all new Hyper Ice X. So the Hyper Ice X is one of the few products that was a part of the new Hyper Ice product launch. The other devices included the Hypervolt 2 and the Hypervolt 2 Pro, but this device is much different than the percussive massage tools that they launched because this device is an electric contrast therapy device that can transition from both hot to cold in 60 seconds without the use of ice or water. And the technology behind the cooling in this is called thermoelectric cooling. And thermoelectric cooling typically requires a large power source. However, Hyperice has been able to do it with just a small battery pack. So in this review today, I'm gonna to talk a little bit about what comes with this device out of the box, what it's capable of, and at the end I'll dive into how it works with their Bluetooth app. So the box that this device comes in comes wrapped with this cardboard sleeve. You see a full color logo at the top, which I assume to be the new logo for the Hyper Ice X product line. Then it just says electric contrast therapy device with hyper smart technology. On one spine, you've got the new logo. On the other spine, it just says any temp, anytime, anywhere. And then on the very back of the box, you've got just a full color picture and then some features and specifications. Inside of this cardboard sleeve, you have the actual box itself, which you have the new logo on. When you open this box, you see the device itself. And the device itself has a battery pack on the top. It has a power switch with a charging port. And then you have five little discs that look like hockey pucks. And within each of these, they have a bunch of fans. They call these each individually modules. And then on the back of it, you have four straps. You've got a thicker top strap with two smaller straps. Each of these have some Velcro on them, and that's how you just attach it to your leg. Underneath the device itself, you have a few other items. So you have a full color logo again on this box. Inside of this box is a full color quick start guide, an operating manual, and then two stickers, one black, one white. Underneath that then is another larger box. Inside of this box, is your nine volt battery charger. So this just plugs into the top of the device when you are ready to charge it. They do recommend that you fully charge this for three hours before the first use. And then the last thing is another box that just says strap extenders and minimizers. And what that looks like is theirs are just extensions for your Velcro straps or minimizers if the straps are too long, you can just shorten it up so the Velcro has something to stick to. So there's three of each of these. So if any part of the device doesn't fit, you can put one of these on to make sure the device fits you properly. Now with the device itself, I'll start by talking about the battery pack at the top of it. Again, they recommend that you charge this for three hours prior to the first use. Once it's fully charged, it does have a battery life that's rated at one and a half hours. However, if you're using this at its highest setting, you'll likely see it last only about an hour. Now you can use it while it is plugged in, so if you wanna go ahead and plug it in and sit close to an outlet, it will continue to work. And this battery pack powers all five of the modules that are on the bottom half of the device, which actually controls the temperature of the system. Now, not only do these modules control the temperature of the device, but they also have built-in temperature sensors which allow the device to maintain a constant temperature within five degrees no matter how long your treatment session is. And so if you look at the back side of the device, most of it is made out of fabric, but there's this one area here that's kind of got like a rubberized vinyl pad on it. This is where all the temperature is felt on the device and on your knee. Now this is a contrast therapy device only. There's no sort of compression therapy. So it is only designed for hot and cold. If you're not familiar with what contrast therapy is, it is the transition from hot therapy to cold therapy. And you usually do it for about 20 to 30 minutes. And it's a vasoconstriction and vasodilation of your blood vessels just to help promote blood flow. Now within this padded area, on the low end, it can get down to 32 degrees, and on the high end, 113 degrees. And they say that on the skin temperature, on the cold side, you're only gonna be about 50 to 60 degrees that you're actually gonna feel on your skin temperature. But that's still really impressive, because remember, there is no water and no ice involved in this. It is all thermoelectric cooling, powered by this battery, which is really crazy. Now this device is only currently built for the knee. They don't have any other devices. However, I expect there'll be some other devices for different limbs and different areas in the future, just because I know right now Hyper Ice has got things for the shoulder and things for the ankle and the lower back. So I expect we'll see some devices with this technology built into it in the future. And one last thing about the device before I do go ahead and put it on and show you how to use it, this whole thing weighs two pounds, which is honestly quite heavy and you think would be relatively noticeable. But once it's 
it's strapped on your knee, you don't really notice how heavy it is. And for the most part, when I've been using it, I've just been sitting down on my couch. I haven't really been walking around. It's certainly capable of staying on if you are gonna be moving around with it, but at two pounds, it is just pretty heavy and something to be aware of. Now, once you're ready to put the device on, you just take the straps and thread them through the adjacent buckle. You're gonna slide this over your knee and you're gonna put your kneecap in the center of this circle inside the five modules, and you want the battery pack toward the top. Now remember, there is three minimizers and extenders. If you feel that you can't get the strap adjusted to your comfort level, just go ahead and put on one of those minimizers and extenders. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on now, and then I'll walk through how you go ahead and actually run through a routine with it. So once you have your device on, you can go ahead and power it on by pressing and holding the power switch on the top of the battery pack. You'll know it's on when it lights up in green. You can then go ahead and open your HyperIce app. I'm gonna use a screen share here so you guys can see what I'm looking at on my phone. As the app opens, you are gonna to have to go ahead and find your device. So if you just scroll down midway, you'll see your device list. There's my HyperIce X, it is the first thing listed. Once you open that, you're gonna see 12 different pre-programmed routines. These routines are gonna range from 10 minutes to 24 minutes, and they're gonna range from hot therapy to cold therapy to contrast therapy. So just to go through these, you got inflammation management, relaxing heat, sooth sore joints, warm up, contrast therapy, cold therapy, hot therapy. So you just pick whichever one you want. I'm gonna start with contrast therapy just to show this. You can go ahead and select play and it's gonna go ahead and try to find your device, connect to it. Once it appears, you can go ahead and select it and it will automatically then start the routine. So it's got a five second countdown. You see I selected the modified pain relief. You see this is a contrast therapy. So there's a little arrow just below the pause button there. That arrow is gonna move as the temperature changes. So you see it started to move to the left and I don't know if you guys can hear this, but all five of these fans on this module just kicked on and they're blowing air out of them and it kind of sounds like a, a laptop fan or a, a small little drone. It's just a, a quiet hum, but I can already feel it getting really cold on my knee. And you see that arrow will continue to move. Now in terms of what I'm feeling, I can definitely feel the cold, but it seems like it's only underneath each of these modules. It's not necessarily on the other areas as much in between. I mean, I can feel it, but it's just not as strong. And so you'll see on the battery pack here, it also lights up in blue, just letting you know what temperature it's currently doing if you can't feel it. Um, at the bottom, you'll see there's temperature control. It's currently toggled to auto. You can toggle that off and you can create a custom range that you want it to do the, co the contrast therapy through. So if you slide these, you can change just the overall range that it heats and cools from. If you don't want it to get super hot or super cold, you can kind of minimize that. I'm gonna switch it back to auto for now. Actually, I'll put this just so you can see the little colored bar graph there. So you see it's getting close to as, as cold as it can get. Now with this being an 18 minute routine, it'll probably transition from cold to warm a few different times. And I'll try to let it run as long as I can here to see if we can get that transition, but it's probably gonna be a couple minutes before it transitions to warm. And it might actually be now that I'm seeing it, the big circle is gonna count down. So it's probably gonna be about nine minutes till it transitions. So I'm not gonna put you guys through all that. You get what it does, it's getting cold here. I'm gonna pause this and end the session. And I'm just gonna go ahead and show a warm session now as well. So I'll do the hot therapy and hit play. And again, it's gonna go through the same process. It's gonna find your device. As soon as it does, it'll go ahead and start. And you'll see now my battery pack changed colors here. See, it's just a warm therapy, so it's not gonna go all the way to hot with this session. I could probably adjust it with manual to make this go a little bit further if I want it to get hotter. And I can already feel it starting to get warm. Now the difference here is that all these fans on the module have turned off, and I'd imagine it's just off the battery heat now. So there's a bunch of coils that kind of run through either side of this that feed into this pad. So it is just more like a, a hot pad in this sense. It's a gentle warmth, but it's definitely getting warmer really, really quickly. And this technology is honestly crazy how quickly it's transitioning now, because again, there's no water, there's no ice, and it's definitely getting very warm right now as well. So 
it's just doing this all through battery power and crazy technology. So I think you guys get the point. It's able to transition really, really quickly from hot to cold. I'm going to pause this and I just want to talk through one more thing that I haven't been able to find yet on my own. So I watched a few videos uh, before I got this device that showed that you could set the temperature to what you wanted to and sort of set a routine for as long as you wanted to. I haven't been able to find that. I've only seen the pre-programmed routines. I'm going to cycle through the top here. If I select most used, it's just the routines that I've used. Athletes here, I'm assuming they're going to have some routines that other athletes like. If you go to new and all, it's just all of the therapy routines in here. So nowhere in the app have I been able to find where you can just set it to whatever temperature you want and set a time frame. If I click the little sliders up here in the top right, it's just again a filter for all of my devices that I currently have programmed in here and certainly certain muscle groups there. So you know, if I go back here, there's just nothing in here that I can find that um, allows you to just control the device itself. It's only the pre-programmed routines at the moment. So, um, you know, maybe that'll come. I'm assuming that'll come. Obviously, still, this product's brand new. So anyways, that's just the app. I'm going to switch back to uh, my camera now, and I'll just do a quick recap of my experience using this. So that's an overview of the Hyper Ice X, and I certainly recognize that it is difficult to show the capabilities of this device because they are temperature based, which obviously doesn't transition well to video, but I did my best to share what the device was all about, what it was capable of, how it works. But with that, a few other pieces of information just to share. So this does currently retail for $399, which is obviously a very steep price tag for what is essentially a glorified heating pack and a glorified ice pack. However, with that, I will say, the technology behind this is insane. The fact that it is able to transition from hot to cold and that it's portable, there's no water involved, there's no mess involved. You know, it's certainly something that's truly incredible and I think Hyperice is well on its way to creating some incredible products with this technology. At the price point right now, I'm not sure if it's something that I'll consider buying any more of. However, it certainly could be something for someone that has a lot of knee issues and contrast therapy is a huge relief to those knee issues. It's certainly something you can wear while you're on the go, whether you're driving or traveling or even walking around. So from that standpoint, there certainly could be a lot of value. I myself don't have a lot of knee issues. Now, if there was something maybe in the future that was designed for the lower back, that's something that I might be interested. But at the moment right now, I don't think this is something that I'll be keeping. I'll likely be returning this to Hyperice. But if you guys have specific questions about this device, go ahead and drop it in the comments down below. I'll do my best to answer those. If you like this video, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you like these types of videos, consider subscribing to my channel. I have new videos all the time with new products as I hit the market. But otherwise, that is the Hyperice X. That's a review. Enjoy your recovery.